Good evening and welcome to the second episode of the Milwaukee Pipeline. I'm Bob Carr. Thank you very much for joining us. If you didn't get a chance to watch episode one yet, what are you waiting for? Our team is so amped up to see all of the excitement around Pipeline. The comments and photos continue to roll in. The buzz for those new impact wrenches has been crazy. It's going to be hard to wait for these guys to come out later this year. All of the Packout fans are going wild for that Packout vacuum. I'm guessing we're going to see some very clean job sites later this fall. When we saw the comments, we know you really wanted a red lawnmower. But hey, at least we all got to see Dirt Monkey tear up every tree on his block with that new hatchet. Well, without further ado, let's get into some more new products. My guess is you are all excited to see what's new in Packout, and I can't wait to show you. We're going to get there soon. But first, let's talk about an exciting new launch. If you've been following the Milwaukee Tool story throughout the years, you probably know that when we get into a new product category, we go big. Hand tools, lighting, drain cleaning, light equipment, our intention is to disrupt, and we're about to do it again. Ryan Schwegler is here for our spotlight on the next big tool category for Milwaukee Tool. It is finally happening. Milwaukee is entering the laser category. But before we begin taking you through the product innovation, we want to share a little bit about our journey to this point and what we have heard from you along the way. Over the last 10 years of our cordless expansion, every time we stepped in a job site, every single time, we would hear it. When is Milwaukee going to have lasers? Milwaukee should make a laser. Milwaukee lasers just make sense. We heard you but we knew that in order to do it right, we had to really listen, understand, and experience the challenges you face. We also understood that shortcuts were not an option. We needed complete dedication. We could not enter this category without a deep knowledge of the technology, applications, and frustrations today. All in, this meant that a Milwaukee solution had to deliver on big expectations, and it had to be done right with you the end user guiding us every step of the way. Over multiple years and thousands of hours of job site research, we heard many stories and documented endless challenges when it comes to lasers. But three critical areas stood out to us as a significant opportunity for Milwaukee to deliver meaningful innovation. Visibility, power, and laser setup. For starters, let's talk about visibility. At Milwaukee, we love red, but when it comes to lasers, we are all green. Green lasers are brighter and easier to see on the job site. That's not much of a debate. Our lasers are built with high intensity diodes, which deliver best in class visibility across the job site. While visibility is critical, so is continuous power. And green lasers require significantly more power to output light and ultimately compromise runtime. We set out to solve this. Now, let's go deeper into how we power our lasers. We heard how tired you are of wasting time on job sites replacing batteries. You showed us that for a heavy day of work, a green laser requires a new set of alkaline batteries multiple times per week, and in some cases, daily. It is already challenging enough to get a laser into the right spot for long run applications, but interruption mid-application to swap batteries only adds to the frustration, downtime, and cost on every job. Over the years, we have continued to invest in lithium ion and our battery technology, which we can now bring to lasers. We are no longer forcing you to compromise visibility for runtime, and our lasers are powered by M12 and red lithium USB batteries. Last, and as we have quickly learned, most importantly, you showed us how challenging and time consuming laser setup can be. We learned that it regularly takes up to an hour for lasers to be correctly positioned in order to start your work. This time really adds up, 
especially if you're moving room to room to complete a repeat application. Finding a way to cut down your setup time became a critical focus for us. Our lasers are built with unique and dedicated features that allow enhanced laser control, positioning, and decreased laser setup time, ultimately making a more productive and efficient job site. This is only the beginning for us. Our vision will deliver innovation to the layout category far beyond what we can show you today. For now, let's get into the details. Up first is Garrett with our M12 lasers. Hey everyone, I'm really excited to talk to you about the first of several laser solutions that you're gonna see from us today. And it all starts with the two newest additions to the M12 system in our cross and points laser, as well as a 360 three plane solution. Each of these products are gonna deliver self-leveling accuracy, all green lasers, and durability features that you've come to expect, like IP rating and impact protection, so that you know they're gonna stand up to the job sites you walk onto every single day. Above that, we're gonna utilize that M12 battery to deliver best visibility and runtime that's gonna stay with you all day no matter how long you're on site. We're also innovating the setup process of a laser. We're making it more efficient and faster so that you can get your layout and install done quicker when using a laser. But first, let's talk about that visibility. When we were learning about the category and doing research with you on your sites, you made it very clear. A bright and easy to see laser is arguably the number one most critical feature in having a good laser. And it's not just about powering a green beam, it's also about having that visibility at distance. It's not uncommon to shoot a laser 30, 50, 100 feet, sometimes even further, and the bottom line is, you wanna be able to shoot that laser as far as you can possibly see, so that you can maximize the amount of work that you're doing off of that one reference point. Both M12 lasers are gonna use high-powered green diodes to deliver that type of visibility at that distance. Let's catch up with Brent, who's a local carpenter, and see what he thought about the M12 visibility. So Brent, can you tell me why visibility is so important for lasers on a job site? Yeah, on job sites we have high light, low light, you know, it's always changing, and be able to see that laser over long distances uh, is, is key. Okay, and you've used the M12 on site for a couple weeks now. Why don't we turn these on, you know, the M12 and then a competitor? Obviously worked with competitor lasers in the past. Can you tell me about the visibility of the M12 and how it compares to competitors? The competitors over longer distances, the line gets uh, wide and grainy. The M12 is a lot brighter, it's crisper over longer distances, and it's just easier to see and use. Okay, and you mentioned like crisper. What do you mean, like why is crisper so important? Uh, over long distances, the, the line gets wider and it kind of washes out and gets grainy, where the M12 stays tighter and, and it's just easier to find your center of the line. Okay, great, and you, you mentioned long distances a couple times. What would you consider to be a long distance and, and tell me how the M12 is performing in those situations? Uh, 100 plus feet, and I found in the M12, over 100 feet uh, works better than any other laser that's out there. In order to deliver that visibility advantage, it's really important that you have a battery that you can trust to drive that sort of power. Think about it, if you're on site for a standard eight hour shift, or if you're working overtime and running 12s, you don't wanna be constantly running back to your job box to switch batteries because it's lost productivity. Each of our M12 lasers is gonna deliver over 15 hours of runtime, and that's with all lasers on. It's also the only 12 volt solution in the market that's gonna be compatible with a six amp hour battery and every other M12 battery that we have on the market. Runtime and visibility are pretty obvious needs when it comes to a laser. But if you're really gonna start addressing efficiency on job sites, you gotta talk about the setup process when you're using that laser. As you know, doing long runs of material, whether it's running pipe overhead at 50 or 100 feet or laying out stud track, that process can be very tedious and time consuming trying to get that perfect alignment accurately. Because of this, we've integrated a micro control feature that pivots on point so that you're gonna be able to get that smooth, precise adjustment much quicker, saving you time, making you more efficient on site. Honestly, it's a lot easier to demonstrate than it is to explain. So let's go talk to Brent. Okay, so you're trying to connect two points on your floor layout. Yep. Can you walk me through how you'd use a competitor laser to, to do that? Sure. All right, move it to my mark. And now I try and dial it in and it's jumping a little bit. Now it springs back. Okay, I got it. So it's kind of kind of jumpy on you, tough, yep. to, tough to get that precise alignment. How's that compare to that micro adjustment on the, on the Milwaukee? With the micro adjustment on the Milwaukee, I find myself on my intersecting point, get the body close, and then I just dial it right in. And it's that simple. After walking us through, what's the, what's the real benefit of that? Like, what does that do for you? It saves time. You saw how fast it was. It, it's less frustrating because you're not messing with it. And here, a 16th of an inch is a mile down there. So it really makes it precise. Awesome, and then kind of one last thing. When we were designing this tool, 
We made that micro control adjustment so that it pivots on that intersection point with the, the two lasers you have there. Is that a big deal for you? What's the benefit there that it pivots on point? Yeah, it, it's a huge deal because once I set up on my, my starting point and I know I'm dialing it in, I'm always going to be on there. I set up once and I'm done. Okay, awesome. Well, that's great. I really appreciate uh, you walking us through that. Thanks a lot. Yeah, no problem. Integrating microcontrol is a testament to how we're working to make you more efficient on the job site. But we also know it's important to be versatile. That's why we've integrated our magnetic mount directly into the laser unit, so you're not having to search the job site for scattered accessories just to get your magnetic hold. And this bracket's equipped with amplified rare earth magnets that are gonna stick to virtually any metal surface, and they're not gonna slide, so you know that your work's gonna be accurate, but maybe more importantly, it's gonna protect it from drops and falls on site. This is really just the beginning for us. And I feel like we say that a lot, but when it comes to the laser category, it's really true. You guys have been asking for this for a long time, and I'm excited to deliver these two solutions focused on all day runtime, best visibility, and faster setup. These solutions, as well as several others that are going to come, are gonna be focused on keeping you more productive and more efficient on job sites. Stay tuned. The M12 has changed the way that we do our work and the portability of them and the lightweight. Using the M12 helps us get in those spaces without sacrificing the power. It's nice to see that Milwaukee has an M12 platform geared for professionals. The M12 is for any guy in the trades, it's the tools they have. The M12 platform gives me every tool I need. It is nice to have a lot of different options and components on the same battery platform. As the line continues to increase, I think life will get easier for all the tradesmen. Milwaukee's looking out for us in the trades, making sure that we have the right tools to get the job done. I hope you are excited about this new category for Milwaukee Tool, adding yet another option in our robust M12 system. But what about those of you who are currently using and frustrated with lasers powered by alkaline batteries? Well, we've got some great news for you as well. Keenan McCutcheon is here to share the details. 312 AA batteries, 150 bucks, and 10 orders submitted to the Tool Crib. Those are the average stats for a AA powered green laser. Now multiply that over 25 lasers on a job site, and you're talking about a pretty penny. On top of that, some leading competitors only provide three to six hours of runtime, forcing users to stop mid-application, swap out batteries, and forcing the painful setup process that Garrett mentioned to happen again. If you want longer runtime, you can buy a red laser, but that sacrifices visibility, making your job harder to complete. So you're forced to make a trade-off between runtime and visibility. Milwaukee Tool has the solution. The Red Lithium USB lasers will provide all-day runtime and uncompromised visibility, ending the trade-off. No one likes making trade-offs on the job site, especially when it comes to product performance. And sacrificing runtime for visibility is no different. Depending on the application, you may want to leave your laser on over brakes to avoid bumping your laser and moving your line. But if your laser dies mid-application, you're now forced to move your laser, replace the batteries, and start the painful setup process over again. The new Red Lithium USB lasers are powered by the Red Lithium USB 3 amp hour battery, which provides you removable, rechargeable convenience and performance while maintaining a compact size. It will also provide over eight hours of runtime with all lines on. For most of you, this means you can get through an entire day of work without worrying about your power. You can swap out batteries at the end of the day or charge the battery in the unit. It will also run and charge at the same time if you have an M18 or M12 power source. But overall, here's the math. One red lithium USB battery replaces up to 6,000 AA batteries, reducing your cost of ownership by up to 3,600 bucks. One way competitors try to improve runtime is by offering red lasers. Because like Garrett mentioned, green lasers offer a huge improvement in visibility over red, but they also consume considerably more power. But you don't have to sacrifice visibility to maintain runtime with red lithium USB lasers. They provide a high intensity green laser that is visible up to 100 feet on the crossline lasers and 150 feet on the three point. Not only are they four times brighter than red lasers, 
They're also brighter than leading AA powered green lasers on the market, while maintaining that great battery life that I just mentioned. Both red lithium USB crossline lasers have that micro control feature that Garrett walked you through earlier. It gives you that ultra fine control when setting up your laser. The three point laser features an adjustable clearance bracket that provides clearance over steel track and space for marking points on the floor. These lasers also have amplified rare earth magnets for a secure hold. Milwaukee also offers a family of accessories that improve the setup process even more. First, we have a 360 laser bracket that is adaptable to any situation. With the multi-plane rotational adjustment, you can easily mount lasers overhead on a steel beam or on a narrow horizontal material like a scissor lift. Once in place, you can easily adjust the laser up and down with the precision vertical adjustment, which helps with setting elevation. Next, a laser target that is a huge improvement in what's offered in the market right now. Not only does it have a highly reflective green surface, but the X design guides you to the center for faster, more accurate alignment. The wide magnetic base is perfect for point-to-point -point transfer on the floor or being used overhead. Finally, we're launching a laser track clip that is ideal for drop ceiling installation. It has a screw and nail hole and zip tie loops for attaching to wood, drywall, and pipe as well. But that's not all. Early next year, there'll be a 165 foot laser detector and a 72 inch laser tripod. We are excited to disrupt the alkaline laser market by offering a rechargeable solution that provides the power and visibility you need while maintaining a compact size. Okay, Packout fans, get ready. Ever since it was introduced almost three years ago, the Packout modular storage system has grown at an astounding speed. As the most versatile and durable modular storage system in the industry, we now have more than 25 toolboxes, organizers, totes, bags, and more for you to customize your Packout setup. Every day, our team is inspired by the new and creative ways we're seeing you use Packout. We've seen some remarkable setups in shops, vans, trailers, and out on job sites. Let's get things rolling with Pipeline Behind the Products for a quick look at what makes Packout so revolutionary. We're so excited to have some time today to meet with Matt Vargo, who's been a pioneer and pivotal part of our storage management system here at Milwaukee Tool. Matt, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks a ton, Bavakar. Really excited to be here to talk about you know all the awesome stuff that's coming in Packout and really dive in with uh, you know what inspired Packout. Now, Matt, we've worked together for quite some time, and you've been managing our storage business for a long time. So from the very beginning, you saw what users were dealing with. What inspired Packout? Uh, you know, so from the beginning, you know, talking with professionals out on job sites and really understanding what their day to day looked like, uh, we saw a lot of struggles with products that were currently on the market. Saw a lot of issues with uh, tradespeople trying to bring in multiple different sizes of boxes, you know, stacking organizers on top and bags and really struggling with getting everything they needed to get the job done from their truck onto the job site in the area they were working that day. Uh, so from the beginning, we looked at Packout a little differently and said, how can we make a holistic system that is going to allow our uh, professional users out there on the job site to be able to attach bags, organizers, boxes, really any different size product that they need to get the job done and need to organize their tools into one holistic system. So from the beginning, we looked at making the most versatile system out there that would really allow our users to adapt, change their configurations to the job they were performing that day. In addition to that, durability is something we've always focused on with Packout. So you know, we're always doing testing, always making sure that Packout is going to be the most durable storage product in the industry. The first thing you mentioned was that versatility side of it. And there's no doubt that there has been unlimited customization and combinations of rigs out there that we're seeing on site, on social media. What are the different ways that you're seeing the pros out there leveraging Packout? Uh, Babakar, you, you really hit the nail on the head there. I mean, talking to professionals out there, looking on social media, we see just a huge variety of different ways that professionals are leveraging the packout system to make sure that they, it is working for them. So the versatility to be able to bring whatever products you need to the job site to get the job done that day. 
the ability to you know, customize a van to be able to store all your pack out products to transport it to and from the job site. Even seeing people you know, build out full shop walls all to have their pack out products on there. Uh, it's really humbling to see how fast pack out has become a part of the professionals everyday lives. Uh, and really gets me excited and inspires me every day to come to work and come up with the next great pack out innovation. Now, Matt, we've talked about where pack out originated. We've talked about how it's being leveraged now. What's the future for pack out? Yeah, the future for pack out is extremely bright. We have a dedicated team here at Milwaukee, all about figuring out what is the next big innovation for the professionals out there, and how can we really drive that productivity and that versatility, you know, on the job site in transit to and from the job, in the shop, uh, and even off the job site. So a ton of new solutions coming in pack out, and the future is extremely bright. Phenomenal. Matt, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you, Babakar. This year, we've launched a cooler, toolbox, and several pack out kits, not to mention that awesome new M18 fuel pack out vacuum. As Matt mentioned, we're not slowing down. We've got much more to come. I'll let Jacob Krupa fill you in. I'm excited to show you the worst kept pack out secret, the two drawer and three drawer toolboxes. We know that durability is a key feature for you on the job site and that you demand a lot out of your storage products. So we built these to meet those demands with metal reinforced corners, impact resistant construction, and the capability to hold 50 pounds. Each unit comes with a set of quick adjust drawer dividers allowing you the ability to customize the layout of your drawer, which fits best for whatever tools or materials you're storing. This next feature, I think you're going to love. These drawers have the ability to be latch and padlock shut, which is going to keep your items secure and also keep the drawers closed in transit or if you accidentally tip them over on the job site. As you can see, going with the packout drawers was the best choice. Look for these in stores in February of 2021. As you know, we spend a lot of time on the job site doing research to continually make our products better. And one thing that we have noticed is how so many of you customize your packout stacks to make you more productive or to better suit the workstation for you. So we have created the Packout Customizable Worktop to make it easier for you to do those things. With its half inch marine grade plywood top, impact resistant body, and 50 pound weight capacity, you're going to be able to mount any of those quick access items that you need at the top of your stack, such as chargers, vices, or even a power source. If you don't mount anything to it, you also have that nice assembly area or a smooth surface for writing. Look for the Packout Customizable Worktop coming to you in November of this year. The next item being added to the Packout lineup is the two-wheel cart. The two-wheel cart was designed to transport packout items in two different ways, either hanging them from the rear cleats or clipped and stacked into the foldable tow plate. Whether you're hauling loaded packout items or heavy and bulky items, this cart will easily get the job done. That's due to its heavy-duty construction and 400-pound weight capacity. You may have noticed that the wheels are set interior to the frame and that's to allow this car to easily maneuver the job site, getting through those tight and narrow spaces, or just getting it onto the job site and fitting it through a door. Last but not least, we also integrated long tool storage. This is going to allow you to transport your levels, your conduit benders, and those other long items that are awkward to carry. Be on the lookout for the Packout two-wheel cart hitting your stores in October of this year. Transporting and storing tools is all about making the most of the space that you have available. And the new Packout racking shelves are going to allow you to do just that. With their horizontal and vertical E-Track compatibility, you'll be able to place them anywhere you can mount E-Track. The shelves are easy to move, adjust, and install in the back of your vehicle, in a shop, and in a garage. Even though they're easy to move and adjust, these shelves are still extremely durable. While in the vehicle, they have a 50 pound weight capacity. Look for these shelves hitting stores in February of 2021. I was able to walk you through a few new Packout products today. The customizable worktop, two and three drawer toolbox, two wheel cart, and now the racking shelves, 
and we look forward to seeing how you incorporate them into your Packout system. Incredible. I don't know about you, but I am super excited to continue building out my own Packout setup with these new additions, especially those drawers. Matt was able to catch up with a few Packout fans who are leveraging the system's versatility to stay organized on the job. Here's some of our favorite examples of Packout builds for shops, transit, and site. All right, well, Bill, thanks so much for bringing me down to your shop. Love the setup here. I just want to know, you know, what drew you to pack out from the beginning? I think what initially drew me to Milwaukee Packout was I needed a storage solution in my small space. How do you utilize the, the different sizes and the different Packout products? So most of the time, the low profile Packout, I put fasteners in, and then the smaller compact organizers, I put like most M12 stuff. And then the normal size organizers, M18 stuff seems to fit the best. So what about when you need to go out on site or need to go do an install? How does Packout help you there? So what's cool about how I've mine set up in my shop is that everything has a space. So if I know what I need on site, I grab, I click, and I go. So it's actually a system that works out really good for me in the shop, on the go, and on site. So what do you think of the new Packout worktop? I think this is going to be a great solution uh, to have a very flat, stable surface in order to just have a little work area, and I, I think that's huge. And uh, I already have ideas on how to customize it. So this is the new racking shelf. So 50 pound capacity, metal reinforced all the way around. It's going to be rated for the back of a trailer, or truck, or whatever else. Sweet. Two wheel cart. Yeah, that's cool. This is the one that I think I'm most excited about. So this is the three drawer one. We also have a two drawer one that's the same size. The drawers are just bigger. Oh, nice. Uh, dividers inside of it. Sweet. 50 pound capacity on the slides for everything. So this is you know, built like the rest of pack out. So biggest thing here is we put a bar on there, security bar. If you have it in the back of your van or your truck or your trailer, you can throw that on there and your drawers will not come open. That's nice. I'll throw a padlock on it. All right, so Bill, what is it you always say about the packout system? Well, there's one thing I always say about the packout storage system, and that is it does not suck. Thank you very much. <laughs>I'm going to give you a tour of my van and what I'm most proud of is how I've been able to organize it. I think I've achieved the ultimate organization for myself and how I run my business and need to work out of this van because of the pack out system. So I do plumbing and heating work, a lot of repair and replacement type of uh, systems on boilers, plumbing, water heaters, things like that. Ultimately, what I'm most proud of though is how I've organized this with all my materials and all my parts. All right, go into the side door here, and this is really where all the magic happens. So for me, maximizing my space was all about getting everything up off the floor as much as I possibly could. That's where I was utilizing the wall plates to mount my boxes on the walls. They're super secure. I've got plywood here for backing, and these, these wall plates are amazing, to be honest with you. I love them. This is a new item here, and this work surface. So this is a super solid plywood work surface, real nice. I've just started using this. I like it because you can bring it into the job site or in my case, uh, I can also use it right here on my stack and quickly assemble or disassemble some parts I might be working on. I've got every type of box at Packout is you know available in the Packout system. I utilize the organizers as much as I do the toolboxes. I really, really like it. Uh, quick access everywhere for me is a big thing. I like to be able to run in, see what I need very clearly and quickly and grab it and go. Um, this is new, which has really changed the way I've, I've run all of my tools in and out of the job and also materials. And what's really cool about this is this metal plate folds down you can lock your pack out boxes on it. You can also put boxes or crates on this vertical uh, mounting plate right here. 
super high capacity uh truss design like that with solid wheels i really like it this thing has got just it's really stable it's re really wide big handle so it's easy to hold on to and grab and yank upstairs i say that because i've been using it to haul water heaters i'm going to move back here and show you what else i got going on all right in the back of my van here i've got nine of these pack out crates i really like the crates because for me they just hold a ton of materials. I've got all my parts and pieces I need for venting, gas systems. On this side of the van here, I've got all my organizers and there's a ton of them. I like the organizers the most out of all the boxes out there, uh, the pack out organizers because of the nice, clear, heavy duty lids. So I've never been able to break these. Pretty crazy, I've broke other boxes on the market but not the pack out stuff. For me, it's about durability, quick access, and modular system so I can lock it in place and leave it. I just want to say thanks to Milwaukee for having me here, showing off my van. Really exciting to me. Thanks. Knowing that Milwaukee Tool has great tools, seeing the pack out, it really made me think this is something that I could really see myself getting into. Once I got one, I was like, wow, I need more. When I pull up to the job site, every day is something different. Being able to pick and choose what I need out of my truck with the packout system, I can pick one packout or I can pick six packouts. I put it on my two-wheel cart and wheel it into the job, and that makes my job a lot easier and a lot more efficient. With the packout, everything clips together, and it's so easy to organize. I mean, you can stack just a ton of them on top of each other, and the pack outs just stayed together and I can organize them way easier in my truck. They've helped me become more organized because I have pack out. On a job site, it makes me more efficient uh, having the pack out because I can grab what I need for that specific job. The ease of having different selection and different options of grabbing what I need throughout the day, you know, it's awesome. My favorite pack out product is the single double wide organizer. I have lots of bolts and nuts and fittings. I can organize each bin into something different and it's nice to have one box that I can bring in and have all the variety of fittings in there. That makes it a lot easier. The durability of the pack out is awesome. They're getting muddy, they're getting dirty, they're getting wet and I have not broken them. I mean, they are just solid. I've seen a lot of other organizers like the pack out and their durability doesn't seem nearly as uh, good. The compatibility with all the different parts of the Packout are top notch compared to anyone else out there that I've seen. Packout has made me way more efficient, more productive. My truck is so organized compared to what it used to be that I mean, just the organizing functionality has just really changed my world. Build your system the way you want with the Milwaukee Packout the industry's most versatile and durable modular storage system. Milwaukee Packout revolutionizes the way you transport, organize, and store your tools on and off the job site. Packout is the first system providing true modularity, allowing you to store and transport boxes, organizers, tool bags, and more in any configuration that works for you. Whoa, did you catch that? Looks like there's still more to come from Packout. Thank you, Bill, Eric, and Luke. I speak for all of Milwaukee when I say that we love to see the many ways you're keeping yourselves organized with the Packout system. Now, what if I told you that you could win all of these new products that we just showed you? Well, you can. Starting today through November, we're holding a Packout Build Out giveaway. The pro with the best setup will win everything you just saw. For details, go to the event summary page for this episode. So there you have it, Milwaukee's giant leap into lasers and a brand new lineup of Packout solutions. It has been a big night. Get ready for episode three on October 15th because we've got a lot more M12 and M18 products to show you, as well as some very unique new hand tools and accessories. On behalf of Milwaukee Tool, I'm Bob Akar. Thank you for joining us for the Milwaukee Pipeline. We'll see you October 15th.